Welcome back to the channel boys, Fabloonski's coming at your neck with this Devastator bleed build. Now with this build, obviously we're using the Devastator and we're going to take advantage of the fact that the Devastator can cause tons and tons of bleed damage as well as put it on a lot of enemies at once. We're also going to take advantage of the fact that he gets a lot of lifesteal as well from having bleed damage. So let's go ahead and break it down. So the first thing I want to go over is the actual healing mechanic of the Devastator because I feel like it's pretty important for this build as well. Now the healing mechanic states that as a Devastator you will recover health from slain enemies that stood too close. Now I don't know what the actual range is of too close close but I'm assuming it's maybe like anywhere from maybe four to five meters I'm not too sure but you know regardless of the fact you're the devastator you're gonna run right in and do damage you know you're not gonna try to stay back and do damage from far you're gonna be in the fray anyway so being too close is not really an issue now since I have a lot of little nodes unlocked we're just gonna go over some of the major ones of course we got our, our skill cooldown reduction we got one right here and there's another one right here we got the anomaly boosters right here but this is our first major important perk or node whatever you want to call it stone circle extended distance considered to be close range by an additional four meters so let's just go off the assumption that maybe it is four meters the initial close range or too close so adding an additional four meters onto that would make it eight meters but again i don't know that's just an assumption so whatever the too close range is we're adding an additional four meters which is going to allow me to take uh, take advantage of that healing i get from killing enemies that are too close to me we also got anomaly bullet so it increased my firepower by 15 percent of your anomaly power this build is supposed to be focused around anomaly power i don't have it as as min max as it should be but for this build to be the most optimal you want to have as much anomaly power as possible which is where this would come into play we also got two nodes of red rivers which will increase the bleed duration by 30 percent so we got 30 percent there some 30 percent right here which makes a 60 percent increase and this little node right here is also very very important executioner increased damage by 20 percent against enemies below 30 percent of health so once they get really close and pretty close to dying you're just going to nuke them and they're just going to die instantly amazing it feels amazing to have this as a devastator now Another really important perk to have is blood donation. You are healed for 25% of your bleed damage. This is where that life steal comes in. Not only am I going to get health from killing enemies that stood too close, but also if they have bleed damage on them, I'm getting some of that bleed damage back as life steal. We also got this little node right here, blood bath. Bleed afflicted on enemies deals 30% more damage. I have two nodes of this one, so blood bath, I have one right here, and then I have another one right here. Now we're also going to have protected by the anomaly increase your armor bonus by 40 percent of your anomaly power again this is the anomaly focused build so having your anomaly high is also going to increase your armor by 40 percent of whatever your anomaly power is next up we got skilled sentry increase armor by 20 percent and resistance by 20 percent for 10 seconds when your skills end now the way i have my mod set up on my armor it allows me to have a lot of ability spam so pretty much i'm gonna always have this increase of armor by 20 percent and resistance by 20 percent as long as i can keep chaining together my skills last up we got earth's heritage increase seismic skills by base damage by 50 percent so now i'm using all my seismic abilities they're pretty much going to nuke enemies especially the impale ability it does so much damage it's crazy this makes my abilities like nukes each one of them is like a nuke now i already said this but we're using all of our seismic abilities we got tremor this pretty much creates a bunch of explosions around you it does damage and it gives you health in return earthquake is pretty much what you would expect you just slam the ground does damage right in front of you or it actually has some range to it not just right in front of you and then we got impale this is where my boss damage comes in this is where if there's any chunky enemy this is what i'm going to be using if you can see right here there's 28,000. plus once i get the bleed going it can do even more now onto my stats we got about 20,000 firepower we got let's just say 18,000 anomaly power we got let's just say 4,900 health and then we got about 30,000 armor now this of course is affected by the one node i had in the scotia that gives me increased armor as well as the firepower my anomaly isn't as high as i want it to be but again like my armor isn't rolled the way i want it to be it's not the most min max as it should be so with this build to be the best you know as it could be as it could be you want to have the highest anomaly power on all your armor sets and there's a couple other things i want to talk about global cooldown reduction i have it at 22.5 percent and then status power the increase to damage of burning toxic and bleeding and the increase to duration of freeze ash vulnerable and weakness so this pretty much makes my bleed do way more damage i don't know by how much i guess 86.6 percent i don't know but this makes my bleed do a lot a lot of damage so let's go ahead and start with our weapons our first weapon is an assault rifle now i'm using perks or mods on my weapons that are going to increase my damage so right now we got anomaly surge critical shot spawn an anomaly energy blast that deals 3540 damage in a two meter radius procs every one second 
but then the other perk is ultimate storm whip this is a tier 3 perk shots bring down lightning on an enemy dealing 6513 damage every one second so every one second boom you get a nice chunk of damage it is a, an amazing perk i got it from a legendary i broke it down now i pretty much put this mod on any weapon i get now my shotgun again i have the same thing i have ultimate storm whip but i also have claim more shots damage an enemy with an anomaly blade dealing 10,252 damage it procs every four seconds so not only am i getting the damage from ultimate storm whip every one second but every four seconds i get pretty much get like a nice little lightning blast or it's not even a lightning blast it's like a fire beam down from the sky like a laser beam and they just take so much damage this coming from a shotgun uh this shotgun is just nasty i crafted it so now this thing is just it's let's just say it's exotic tier uh, actually maybe not i don't know it doesn't have two tier three perks but it has a tier three and a tier two and probably some of the best perks right now at least in my opinion or at least the best perks i have or mods whatever you want to call them my pistol literally doesn't matter <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to our armor now so on our helmet we got spike forest this skill can strike one additional target this is for the impale ability we also got blood shock earthquake now inflicts bleed on enemies damaged by the skill this this right here is what's going to start all the bleed and all the chain effects me getting my health back me doing extra bleed damage to enemies and pretty much my earthquake is how i prime the enemies with bleed damage on my chest piece we're using crush sequence tremor receives two additional explosions so it just lasts longer which means i get more health and i can stay alive in the fight longer then we also got bloody boost boost your damage against enemies afflicted by bleed by 15 percent so this already is increasing my bleed damage or my damage to enemies with bleed on them whenever i put the bleed and i use the impale it does massive amounts of damage on my legs we got rivers of blood impale increase the skill damage by 50 percent to enemies afflicted with bleed so as you guys can already see right here this is really starting to increase my damage with enemies that have bleed on them and as well as have extra quake earthquake the skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown this is what's going to allow me to keep procking the bleed on enemies and just pretty much have more ad clear and more sustainability on my gloves we got ground crush earthquake increases the skill's base damage by 4305 and then we also got sharpened spike impale increases skill skills damage by 6623 more damage so pretty much i'm just buffing up each one of my skills they're both tier one perks but that's okay because i feel like what they offer is very very valuable and on my legs we're using impaler impale this skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown so i have two charges of my impale ability and then we also got phantom dash this by far is my favorite mod i think just in general throughout the whole game because during combat your default role is replaced with a phantom dash which enables you to quickly pass through enemies so I made a video about this already, but pretty much you put this on and you have a blink pretty much. You can blink around enemies, blink through them, get behind them, use your abilities, escape damage. It is a fantastic mod. Honestly, I don't think I can play this game without it now because I've just gotten so used to it and the movement feels amazing with it and just being able to phase out of existence and then reappear. If you're about to get sniped or if an enemy is about to jump on you, you can just phase out of the way and you just won't take any damage. It does take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it is phenomenal. For this being my first like real build, I guess you can say in this game that I've made and put on my channel, I'm actually pretty proud with it. And honestly, it's not even fully optimized. Like I said earlier, if I could have more anomaly power or maybe some different weapons or maybe even some tier three perks, I don't even have that many tier three perks unlocked so there that goes to show that like you don't even have to have the most optimized stuff for it to be powerful and i think this gives people a pretty good idea of what you can start to see in the end game i'm just in the beginning of the end game if i can already make builds like this i think once you start getting to the later world tiers and the later expeditions and going into the eye of the storm you can start to like create really really crazy builds and once you get two i don't even know maybe if you can have three i'm not too sure yet but two at least two tier three perks you're gonna be walk around with like the equivalent of like exotic and destiny you can have like a bunch of them on at once you can have tons of tier 3 perks on all your weapons and your armor min max completely with your anomaly your status power your bleed damage your life leech and all that kind of stuff so i'm really really excited to see what the end game has to offer but as for this build i found myself really being able to stay inside the fight longer as well as do damage because you get a lot of life back from bleed as well as just being close range to enemies you get life in return and my abilities do a lot of damage and i can use them very very frequently which is what i love in any game i play if i can make an ability spam build i'm going to do it because that's just what i love so the fact that i got ability spam sustainability tons of damage from my weapons and my abilities 
close range damage if I need to pull out my assault rifle I can it's just an awesome build I love it the bleed damage even if you're not able to kill the enemy right away that bleed will start to tick that tick at them and you're going to do a lot of damage over time because it lasts 60% longer and does 60% more damage on top of that you're probably shooting at them with your gun or if you're playing multiplayer probably your teammates are shooting at them so things are just gonna die very fast very frequently you're getting a lot of life steal so it's awesome if there was maybe one thing or two things I would change again it would be being more min max or more optimal optimized maybe having more anomaly power or maybe more status power or something along the lines of that but again i just need more rng i just need to get lucky with the anomaly power stat and maybe the cooldown cool down reduction or whatever i need but that's just really really far in the end game when you're able to min max and upgrade certain pieces here and there but as for right now i think this build is going to last me a while i'm going to keep upgrading these pieces or maybe i'll switch it up maybe because you can refund the skill tree just for free so maybe i'll try another tanky build next i don't know but for right now i'm sticking with this build it's helping me do a lot of damage it's taking me pretty far into the end game i'm able to do some nice expeditions so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i really enjoyed this build and i hope you guys do as well but if you guys like this content please like subscribe and share it really helps me out a lot you can also check out my other videos links are in the description below i have a lot of crazy builds so go ahead and check that out and you might as well follow my social media i have a twitter and an instagram both at fan underscore but with all that being said deuces